Hey guys, Lewis Cahill here from Gink and Gasoline. I'm at IFTD 2016. I'm in the Echo booth with my buddy Tim Ray Jeff. Tim, good to see you, man. Good to see your smiling face. <laughs> Thanks, man. You guys have got a big year this year, seven new rods. Yeah, I used to have hair before I got stressed out <laughs> trying to design so much new stuff. Yeah, I hear you. Well, we're not going to take time to talk about seven new rods, but we picked four really cool ones yeah. that we want to talk about. I mean, one of the things that happens is, is we look for solutions. Like, why should you just go out and get another stick? Yeah, right. So when you when it comes to like specific fisheries or n new things, I am always looking for the next thing. So I got a couple products that are kind of crazy, and some that are kind of, yeah, and then some are more uh, evolutionary. One of the rods uh, that I'm really psyched about that is something that uh, I had on a, a Atlantic Salmon River about uh, four weeks ago is a one-handed spay rod. Nice! Now you can spay cast with two hands, you can spay cast with a regular nine-footer or a ten-footer, sure. but, but for efficiency, uh, making a rod that's a little bit longer than ten feet is good, but when it gets too long, then it's stress against your hand mm -hmm. so this is the one-handed spay or the OHS and they come in a six seven and eight weight and uh, what we did was we realized that spay still what do you think of with spay one or two hands I think a two hands you think of two hands right. so what we did with this one-handed spay rod is it comes look at that comes with a removable lower handle so now if you wanted to and you're really into two-handed you could still you've got that chuck two lever. handers yep so it's and a convertible. It's convertible. Beautiful. Yes, I love that. So, and it's uh, that 10 foot four inch length is perfect. You can control line, make good casts. It's smooth. It's not too much leverage against your hand. Yep. And we made it out of our lightest material. The longer a rod gets, that's when weight becomes a real factor. And that rod's going to open up a lot of water for single hand anglers. Yes. Yeah, totally. Cool. You know, if you have a spay rod, you like spay casting, you got your nine foot or 10 foot single hander, and now you have a, the next tool. Right. And I get this question all the time. It's important to, for people to realize there's a difference between the action of a spay rod and a long nymph rod. Because yes. people always ask me, can I, you know, can I spay cast with my nymph rod? It's a completely different tool. And especially in the size of six, seven, eight, those are anadromous, steelhead, salmon, things like that. You know, and you're going to be throwing a bigger fly and doing some stuff. And we have lines that balance with that, that really make that rod really a, a, a great tool. Perfect. Um, our extreme performance rod. So what do you think of? Tight loops, windy conditions, being on the flats, the yep. guide's yelling at you. <laughs> and one of the trends in that market is for having a rod with tons of backbone. The bummer is if the whole rod is stiff, it's really hard to feel the initiation of a cast. Right. And sometimes you've been flats fishing where the guide's like, 20 feet, hurry up. So that's when I put enough tip on it. So this rod's really fast action, which means the tip's light enough to flick and initiate the cast. But basically it's a really powerful stick. Right, so you can get your cast started and get your line worked out quickly and then it's got the backbone to right. really chuck some line. So this is our stiffest, fastest rod. And oh, it's, that's a great feeling. But it's light. That's the key, again, is yeah, super the lighter a rod is, the more energy it has left over to contribute to the cast. If I filled this with water and made a heavy rod, then it, uh, it slows the thing down. So these are in an 8, 9, 10, and 12 weight, kind of the popular saltwater right. configuration. Beautiful. That's the EPR. Then the rod that you were drawn to. This is the one. So would you say it looks like it looks like a popsicle? It's a popsicle. I want to lick it. Yeah, okay. Look at that thing. That is well, beautiful. this is the. Uh, yeah, we, it's a series of rods we call BAG, the which BAG. stands for Badass Glass. And it is, man. Holy smoke! So there is an eight, nine, ten, and twelve weight, and I, I was trying to make sure that if you wanted to have some fun in the salt, that you weren't using a soft, slow action, kind of retro, kind of doggy stick. It really needs to perform, it needs to generate line yeah. speed. And so I think we nailed it with these badass yeah, glass. Thing, it does not feel like, this is not your grandfather's fiberglass rod. Right. That and I, I grew up cool. fishing these. I grew up fishing them for saltwater species, for salmon and steelhead. And so uh, we wanted to make sure we covered that whole range all the way up to a 12 weight fiberglass rod. That's amazing. And, and I gotta tell you, I love this color. Awesome. I'm glad <laughs> you do. Tim it's Jeff translucent too. So when you take yeah. this outside, you can see the light through it. Literally, it looks like a lightsaber when the light hits it right. This thing is cool. crazy. Fun. That is, is really it cool, fun? dude. Aren't you happy? Super fun. Uh, you gotta, I, we got, I guess now we have to go fishing together. This rod here is kind of the last one I want to show you today. And it's, um, it's called the Beach Boost. Nice. And what happens is, uh, as we get older and our shoulders go <laughs> Who's bad, getting old? 
and we're trying to cast old. into the surf or uh, targeting <laughs> either stripers or if you're fishing up in the Puget Sound area for sea run cutthroat trout or if you're down in Los Angeles in the Southern California area, they fish for halibut, they fish for perch, they right. fish for corbina. And what this rod is, is I kind of made a hybrid design so that you can still fish into a stripping basket, but this is a two-handed overhead rod. And it's a six weight, seven and eight weight. Wow. And the idea was it's not like a spade design. This is from mm -hmm. scratch so that it's perfectly designed for overhead casting overhead in the surf. Casting. And they're in a six weight and you could use a standard six weight line. No so way. You, you can grab off the shelf, so it's not a spay out. You don't need a specialty line for it at Correct. all. Correct. You Correct. just put your regular six weight reel on this thing. Six, seven, or eight weight. So for the bigger 300 grain things, and the length on these is 12 feet, 12 foot one inches, and 12 foot two inches. And so that gives you the, in my opinion, from my experience, it's the optimum length to generate good speed, but not so long that it gets clunky and not so short that you defeat the purpose of two hands. Very cool, super original product. We're gonna have to get this out of the casting pond and let you show us how to cast it. Cool, there are some things that I can show you that'll make everybody uh, comfortable with a two-handed overhead rod in 60 seconds or less. Beautiful, man, great rods this Thank year. You. Really excited to get these things out and cast them. Guys, get out and try these things. They're awesome. Stay tuned to Gink and Gasoline for more from IFTD 2016.